I arrived into Frankfurt as part of my trip en route to Hamburg for a video conference. I was really quite surprised how much I like Frankfurt so far. And just in case you've missed out, there is also a part one to this vlog which you should also check out. I decided to continue my exploration at the German Film Museum. I've just finished doing the exhibitions, the uh, permanent exhibitions here in Frankfurt um, Cinema Museum and it's surprisingly good. It's basically over two floors. Um, there's actually usually three uh, exhibitions, two permanent ones and a temporary one. The two permanent exhibitions look quite good. So the first one is actually on the first floor and it's actually talking about the history of moving imagery. They just have some antiques from the past. The first floor, I I just kind of geeked out a bit. I um, enjoy just like playing around with some of the machines and just to learn what they, people used to do. Um, that was really good fun. I uh, actually spent a lot more time than I expected looking around at different things. And if you're a bit of a film antique geek, you'll probably really enjoy this. For six euros, you get access to the two permanent exhibitions. And so in the second exhibition on the second floor, you get to see the costumes, the makeup, the whole process of actually creating a film. My personal highlight was this actually bit where you put yourself into the scene in real time, which was pretty damn amazing. And you know what, it's actually pretty good green screen, I thought. And then on top of that, um, you can also edit a film, which was pretty damn cool. I saw a guy editing uh, Indiana Jones. Thanks for that vlogging, Joe. After, I wanted to do some more culturifying, which is definitely a word. And I decided to head towards the cathedral. Okay, so that was a slight fail this evening. Unfortunately, when I got to the cathedral, um, I couldn't get in because I think they had some kind of mass going on, so there was no spectators allowed to go in, which is a real shame because I've been told that the cathedral is, is like an absolutely gorgeous uh, gothic cathedral and whatnot, and I'm a big fan of gothic cathedrals. I'm just gonna have to come back. But one big positive, I did actually get my uh, camera blessed. There was this little bowl of water with holy water in it. So I thought, well, I guess I'll just bless my camera. So if anybody needs any services from a blessed um, Panasonic GH5, let me know, add your thoughts to the comments. Um, I'm pretty sure it's it's going to be really good for exorcism. After like in pretty much um, spending a bit of time in the entrance and admiring some sculptures and whatnot, I decided to head to the tall tower because I was really like quite like on a bit of a mission to try and see a nice view of Frankfurt. So I sauntered over to uh, the big tower. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, it looks like it was a bit of a mass great queue. So I asked security and it turns out it's a wait about half an hour to 45 minutes, which I usually interpret for to about an hour wait. And given the fact that I didn't won't get much time actually on the viewing platform, I thought, ah, sod it. So yeah, a bit of a failed evening on my part, to be perfectly honest about it. But never mind, never mind. And I must admit, Frankfurt, you did such a good job. Here's me thinking Frankfurt would be just a soulless, like, you know, business town. And actually, it's that combination of the old and the new I like when I go to a city. And it still keeps the old of like the traditional German uh, lifestyle, like the the, the German bistro, the typical German restaurant where you have a long bench and just like shared benches. That was a really nice lunch. Um, really, really enjoyed that. There's loads of museums to check out. So depending on your interest, definitely check out the, the row of museums that actually sit right by the river. And come springtime, apparently there's loads of festivals. They have things from music festivals, festivals around food, festivals around all sorts apparently. And because it's a bit of a business town as well, some of the exhibition halls get really, really busy. If you're definitely planning a big epic trip around Germany, try and avoid like the really big exhibitions, otherwise accommodation might be a bit of a problem.
Random little fact, did you know that the EU bank is actually located in Frankfurt? Take a wild guess where it is in Frankfurt. Big hint, look out for the big euro sign. So I'm currently in the old square of Frankfurt and it's absolutely gorgeous. Just what you want from a traditional German old style <laughs> medieval type square. Is you have your wooden old housing, you have like this lovely stone floor and of course it's very very touristy. So I made a point to get up really early this morning and yeah when I actually got into the square it was pretty much empty. There was me and a few pigeons and just as I started do start this recording a whole bunch of tourists just arrived so um, I don't do this enough waking up nice and early just to try and get the whole city to myself it's currently a Sunday morning and um, if you do wake up early enough definitely have a bit of a wander around That's it for Frankfurt signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video when I visit Monster. One of the Indiana Jones films, Temple of Doom. Yeah, I think it was Temple of Doom. I could be wrong.